power to the people. I'm back for a reason. If you clicked on this video, I meet you with greetings. Another episode of Part of My Back Podcast is me, your host, Sebastian West. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Sebastian West, where you check out my art and all of its splendor. Not only do I mention movies and review them, I'm an artist. So follow me on Instagram. Also, man, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Try to increase my subscribers, man. Share it, subscribe, do all of that. If you don't like what I'm kicking, like what I'm spitting, just know when you tune to this, the cloth is different. The Seven Ups. It was a recommendation by someone in the YouTube comments who recommended I watch the French Connection. Connection. Also, they recommended I watch the movie The Seven Ups, and it was a treat to watch. It was. It was a treat to watch. Roy Schneider, heck of an actor. If you don't know who he is, man. I'm going to mention a film about a big, great white shark, all right? If you don't know who Roy Schneider, that's him. Go check him out, all right? The Seven Ups. It's about a like a squad in the NYPD who take down criminals and who pursue them. And when they prosecute them, they get seven years and up. Storm is crazy. Right? I'm in New Jersey, so I'm going to salute to the Nets. Well, have a team anymore, but yeah, storming out here, man. Anywho, while I'm recording, this is crazy. So yes, the 7-Up is about an elite group of detectives who when they lock you up, you get seven years and up. Roy Schneider's character, hard-nosed, pit bull type of dude. When he pursues you, he's on. It's a rap. Like, he's gone. And this, this, this things, the things transpired where they were investigating some mobsters. Kidnapped his best friend, they murder him. Now he's very adamant about taking the guy's damn pulse who kidnapped and murdered his, his friend and partner on a, in this you know group of guys. Now this this elite these elite detectives aren't liked amongst the NYPD. They aren't like due to their tactics, how they you know pursue the crime world. Nevertheless, they get the job done. That's all that matters. You know, you have these like hard-nosed individuals who just gets the job done by any means necessary. Some will stand with you, and some will stand against you. It just so happens majority of people stood against them. But they got the job done. Okay? The Seven Ups had a, one of the most spectacular car chase scenes that I've witnessed. Honestly, it's top three. I know people, they mention the Matrix 2, the highway scene, and that. Phenomenal. With the twins and things like that, and the switchblade, and phenomenal. Vanishing Point, if you guys don't know about Vanishing Point, check that out. This one also is definitely on the list. Phenomenal. I think this pursuit scene, and, and it just, it was amazing because I know. It didn't look like they blocked things off in this hot pursuit. It didn't look like it. They were in New York, you know, driving through traffic, and it's phenomenal. I like the, the, the fact that they had this big boat of a car, the, not not the one that Roy Schneider was driving, but this Cadillac, was that a Cadillac? I can't recall. It's huge vehicle, plowing through the streets of New York, it lasted probably 15 minutes, that scene. You know, no green screen, no special effects, just whip game. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Roy Schneider, heck of an acting job in this. The guy is, is he's been around for a long time. You know what I mean? Went on the radar for me. I, I just realized how, you know, he his early work, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, things of that nature. Roy Schneider has been around. He's definitely been around. So yes, I like the French Connection, which he was also in. So the French Connection and the Seven Ups, it's like a marriage. They go together. You can watch the French Connection and then watch, you know, the Seven Ups. To me, they go together. Just my opinion. All right. I'm also going to speak about casual and connoisseurs regarding movies. Me, I'm a connoisseur. Okay. I used to be a connoisseur in the game of basketball. Now I don't like the game as filthy as nasty, so I'm a casual watcher, all right? But with movies, I'm a connoisseur. I'm going to break that down in one of my videos. I definitely going to talk about that. 
Sorry we went on a tangent, but yes, it's back to the 7-0. So yeah, I like the way it was shot. Nice car chasing. In the end, Roy Snyder gets the guys. You know, he, he claps them. And in the end, they were running from him. This, this group of the, the mob guys that kidnapped his uh, partner for ransom and killed him. Gets, he gets to get back. Retribution. He does get that. So yes, I had no, you know, no gripes about the seven ups. It's good to me. No complaints. I'll give the seven ups mm, seven and a half out of ten. I recommend people go check the movie The Seven Ups about. It's a, I'm a sucker for crime, action, thriller type films. I'm a sucker for those. I'm gonna check them out. I'm I just am. So yes, go check out the seven ups, man. Seven and a half out of ten of Sebastian's artwork. Now, if you don't like what I'm kicking, like what I'm spitting, just know when you tune to this, the cloth is different. Remember, a big shot is nothing but a little shot that kept shooting. You don't like my reviews? Come me some slack, and if that ain't good enough, pardon my back. Until the next time, hold it down. I'm your host, a part of my back podcast, Sebastian West on Instagram. Hold it down, part of my back podcast. Salute!